Hey everyone, welcome back to Axangel RC and a Merry Christmas to all. In this mid-holiday time I would like to bring the Zocht Da to your attention. Its unique swept forward wing design really makes it stand out of the crowd and should make for an interesting experience flying it. Beginners are advised to only look at this time because this is one plane that really does require a good amount of prior experience in order to fly. Just in case you don't feel like only looking, all necessary links can be found in the description below. Most of you have probably not been subscribed to this channel from the very beginning, but this is not my first contact with a forward swept wing model. A long time ago I built a similar model out of Depron foam, it was powered by a 35mm EDF unit and it was the most amazing plane I've flown or had in terms of speed for its size of course, maneuverability and fun factor to date. But it was not something that was easy to handle. True, it did have a bit of a vectored thrust going, so its handling was even more spectacular, but it was small, and my attempts proved that it was not easily scalable. I have been thinking for a long time to make a new fuselage for the F sweep, as I called it, but with so many models to review, fly, and play with, I constantly was short on time, so never got around to bringing it back to a proper flying state. And then the happened and I have to say putting aside the lack of vector thrust it is something spectacular. I of course flew the plane on 4S right from the start and it certainly has thrust in abundance. The only thing that I can compare it to in that regard is the Fury Wing and that one is crazy fast. The dart is smaller but it is just as quick with the only difference being that it tracks a lot better when going slow or at speed or vertical plus because of those forward swept wings it is very agile and maneuverable and can be flown in a very tight space if needed. And yet the max travel of the control surfaces isn't that big but it does a row almost as fast as a racing copter. At first I didn't dial in any expo and the thing was too sensitive to my stick inputs and was a handful to fly. Dialing in 50% expo does make things a lot better but I still would not recommend recommend a dart for a beginner pilot, this plane is not of the forgiving type. Another very nice effect of the forward swept wings is the fact that they do not like to tip stall at all. As usual I did test that and as hard as I tried I was not able to get this thing to even rock side to side but then again my old F sweep 35mm EDF model handled in much the same way when the CG was correct. Good news is Zocht have placed CG markings on the dart so it should be easy to get that right. I really have no idea what will be the max flight time of this plane on a single charge with the 4S 1000 milliamp battery I chose to put in it but I can tell you that it will last at least 5 or 7 minutes of some proper fun giving you some impressive performance. The maiden flight was again in the mountain and actually on the same day as the FTC Hunter but we decided to walk up the ski track to get above the fog. Sadly that meant more wind and even more turbulences. The dart flew ok while over the trees but the moment it got over a clearing things became a nightmare in an instance. It was getting knocked around like a feather and all of my concentration and skills were going towards trying to keep it level and keep it in the air. This was absolutely not a pleasant experience for me so after a while I landed it. Luckily that fresh and soft snow kept the plane pristine and free of any damage. I did install the run cam split into this one and that is why you're enjoying footage from this plane in such high quality. For this build I also went with one of the new AKK video transmitters that is able to output up to 800 milliwatts though I programmed it to 200 for the dart as I doubt I'll be going out too far. In any case next few times I flew the plane I was going out 200 or 300 meters and the video signal was perfect but the antenna is not to be underestimated as well. I had a turbo wing one lying around and it was small enough for me to go with it. Since the AKK VTX had these mounting holes on the antenna connector I printed out a base and glued it on the dot then screwed the connector on it and got a pretty solid mount for the antenna. During my flights I was getting some black lines in the goggles but they're most likely coming from the 
split because all of the video gear is directly connected to the flight pack without any filtering and I'm pretty certain it is not the AKK VTX as their products have been pretty solid so far. But the split has been known to be sensitive to dirty power. I can't say it was much of a bother, besides you get to see the high quality recordings of the camera anyway but an LC filter would do wonders to clean up the image I'm seeing on the ground. All up weight of the dart turned out to be just over 400 grams with the gear I had chosen which may seem high for a 635 millimeter model but even so it had tons of power and could do unlimited verticals. Not sure how that motor and ESC will take the 4S in the summer but right now at around 10 degrees ambient temperature they held up great and the plane is an absolute blast to fly with this setup. Lucky for me I did chance upon a calm day at last so I was able to actually have some fun where I don't have to fight for the plane's life with the mountain winds. In the process of testing the plane and just enjoying it I even managed to do a little durability test where I left it flying in some direction while I was putting my goggles on and as it turned out that direction was towards the trees where it hit a few branches branches and fell to the ground but luckily only one of the vertical fins got detached and there was no visible damage or dents to the plane. I just threw it up in the air immediately after I recovered it and it was perfectly fine. Really impressed by the quality of the Zocht plane so far. Top notch stuff. But honestly the dart it is something amazing for real. It has the speed of a flying wing, the maneuverability of a 3D model and the tip stow resistance of a trainer plane and all of that in a very small package that also breaks down in seconds to be stored away in its original box, which is tiny. At this point I'm not sure if I'll be trying to install an autopilot in this one but I can tell you for sure that it is tons of fun and so quick to deploy and easy to transport that I put it on par with my race quads in that regard, charge the battery, take it out of the box and throw it. That is it and you're in for quite the joyride. The Zocht stabilizer is working okay but I'm curious if using another stabilizer might yield better results in terms of flight performance. True you will never be making super professional commercial videos with this plane, it will be mostly flown for the pure fun and joy of it and those small shakes and twitches are really not noticeable in the goggles while flying but still some people might want to get rid of them and if that is at all possible it will require require a change of flight stabilizer so let's say there is still some work to be done on this one. And yet for what it is and what it has to offer I'd say this stunning little performer is absolutely worth having but again keep in mind this is no beginner plane. But it is a head turner for sure. Last time I went out to fly it a guy walked up to me looked at the plane and said what is wrong with the wings on this one? And he was even more stunned when it actually flew straight vertical right out of my hands. So if you want to impress, get a dart. You are sure to attract some attention with that model and that is only an added bonus to the stellar flight performance and capabilities. Plus the electronics in it seem fairly reliable for the time being. For me they have survived a few landings in snow, a few rough landings at the flying field and a tree crash. So I'm happy. As it turns out the plane is so good that I just have to keep flying it so stay tuned there will be more. In the meantime you can find all the links for the gear used in this video in the description below and buying anything via those links will help support this channel and will be greatly appreciated. If you have found this video interesting and helpful please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and consider doing the same on Facebook for daily updates. I wish you all a happy and successful 2018 and I will see you next year.